Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a UFO? We can't figure it out. A viewer reaching out saw these large bright lights in the skies over <laughs> the strip in downtown. He says they're bigger than the helicopters we see circling uh, many, many times. And we just heard back from Nellis. They say not involved in this. So if you think you know what these are, you've seen these, you can reach out. Let us know right on our website, adusnow.com. Top story there. In just the last few days, the Department of Defense has released new footage of a new UFO. Department of footage Defense. Footage in the Middle East. Could they have just been looking for more cows? The Pentagon has no explanation for what this was. Something strange is happening in my beloved home state of Texas, where someone or something is mutilating cattle. Three different counties, six cows have been found dead, with each scene more grisly than the next. They don't make sense. The cow's tongues have been cut out. Uh, almost surgically, there's almost no signs of spilled blood. And nearly two of them, of the cows, had their sex organs removed. Authorities say they were unable to find any sign of footprints or tire tracks around the scenes. On top of that, the areas around the carcasses were undisturbed, like no signs of a struggle for the cows. And as troubling as all this is, stories like this have been happening actually for decades. As far back as the 1970s, the New York Times was reporting that nearly 200 cows in 11 states were found mysteriously mutilated, where ranchers reported that udders, eyes, ears, sex organs, and tongues seem to have been removed. Sounds familiar. So who is behind this seemingly 40 years of unexplained phenomenon? I don't know. Teenagers who play sick pranks on cattle ranchers? <clears throat> that reminds me of uh, the movie, the Cheech and Chong movie, where... You got a, a station wagon full of nuns. Yeah, you remember that one. And you got two hippies in a van. And the cops find a marijuana joint. So who do they bust? The station wagon full of nuns. Cultish worshippers of some odd religion? Aliens? What could this be? Aliens. This is so odd... We have to consider any possibility. Well, okay, yep. here's one possibility. How about the government? Huh? That it never even crossed your mind. You're looking at the nuns in the station wagon. Well, maybe it's the two hippies in the van. Come on, man. Do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to a major circulation American journal. We do have people who submit pieces to other two American journals. 